Yeah. He said, you don't have to agree with Trump, but the mob can't make me not love him. We are both dragon energy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What's up, man? It's Jungle Beats. It's Jungle Beats. I'm Alexander Sandalis. And I'm Alexander Man. Has Kanye West lost the plot? <laughs> Has he... How many screws does he have left in his head? Oh, is he gone? Is he... Whoa. Has he flown off the handle? Has he decided to join the aliens on the planet Mars? So, we did a Kanye reacting... We reacted to some Kanye tweets for 15 minutes. When he was sort of, sort of losing a few screws. Yes, he had a couple screws that were loosening. loosening. Now, we're questioning whether there were screws there to begin with. <laughs> so... You've you've made me aware just of what he what happened in the last day. Yeah. G tell the people if they don't know. Up update us. So the main things which he said were pretty much posting a picture of him wearing a Donald Trump hat. Oh, let me show you this. I don't see I this think one. It was, was Maga. Uh, it was wearing a Donald Trump hat. We got love. Make America great again with some two white fellas. Yeah, they're two politicians. I'm pretty sure. Now, Kanye is getting. I, I think because and I think there was another one about how he was serious about being president for 2024. And then there was some person saying, hey, if Donald Trump could be president, I'm not surprised if Kanye will have a crack and can be quite good at it, which I think eh, Donald Trump is a lot more oh. than me. Uh, Donald Trump tweeted, mm -hmm. thank you, Kanye, very cool. He, but Kanye said, what did he say? You don't have to agree with Trump, but the mob can't make me not love him. We are both dragon energy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what? Donald Trump is dragon energy. He is my brother. I love everyone. <laughs> I don't agree with everyone, anyone, everything anyone does. Fair enough. That's what makes us individuals. Hold on. There's more. <laughs> it's so good. There's looking. a lot more. <sighs> he says, and then like that one said, he's Donald Trump's my brother. And then a lot of the Kanye fans and just the hip hop fans in general just were just like shocked. Because fair enough, Donald Trump has been known to be, you know, racist in the past and against black culture and even as president now he's not doing much for black culture and so i think that would hurt a lot of people that are fans of him mm. i mean sure donald trump could have changed now he may be a better person in ways he may have had one-on-one -on -one conversation with kanye to sway him because he's got some form of a brotherly dragon force friendship with him but i don't think that can really nullify trump's past and a lot of his actions so i mean that's just that's just the bigger picture i'm looking at but look there's nothing wrong. I, everyone. Okay, let me hold on. Hold up. Here, slow down. Everyone's entitled to free speech in the in the free world in the Western world. Exactly. Tick. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to say these things. Mm -hmm. However, there are ramifications. There's ramifications if we do it on such on our small scale. There's ramifications if you're Kanye West. And you told me some of the ramifications was people in his industry unfollowing him. And yeah. this may seem superficial, right? Unfollow. Who the fuck cares about an unfollow? It's well, a big thing when you're a big artist. It's a symbol for someone who's not fucking with you anymore. Some names to be with: Kendrick Lamar unfollow, The Weeknd unfollow. A huge. Um, and a lot of other you big artists. Rihanna? I'm pretty sure Rihanna unfollowed too. Yeah. You're talking about three of the top ten most popular artists on the planet, mm -hmm. most influential. Yeah, but I guess, but as soon as you're going to say you support Trump, and a lot of their music is against Trump. Do you stick to someone that you're being friends with that you might see every now and again? Or do you support what, you know, what you believe in and what your fans believe in? Because a lot of, I think The weekend, for example, could have been like, if I don't unfollow Kanye, then my fans will think I'm okay with it and they'll think that I'm okay with Trump and I don't want to be Similar known like that. Similar to X in some ways. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the problem about all of this. It's all text. He hasn't, we've got no music and no video, so we can't hear tone. We can't hear more backstory and justification behind why he believes what he believes. You know what I'm really hoping? I'm really hoping that this is like a stunt to get all the people who are Trump fans to start to like Kanye <laughs> and really get in and really want to listen to his new album. And, mm -hmm. the whole, and the whole album's about fuck Trump and be really political, but he's got all of them listening. Imagine that. Imagine if he just turned to 360 and was just like, I was just making friends with you, Trump, just to get every, oh. all of your fans to listen to my album. How good would that be? And then when he released the album, he was just like, it was a big political album. That would be one of the biggest marketing it would It would twists. be the, it would be the biggest. It would be the biggest. Fooling his, fooling his friends, fooling his families, fooling other artists, all to just get their attention and to get them to listen and to try and sway them. It's like a black man, like that, that skid in um, 
uh, Dave Chappelle where he puts on the white. Well, he didn't really know, but he put on the white Ku Klux Klan and went in there, but he was blind. So he like, but imagine if you weren't blind and like you put on the hood to get to creep into there and then try and sway them. Like, okay. But yeah, it's pretty, that's the, that's the what I'm hoping, but I don't, I don't think it's true. He seems pretty. Cuckoo. <laughs> Well, he's very self. He seems very self-aware of the ramifications because he's prefacing this announcement of loving Trump, yeah. right? With we all have the right to independent thought. That's what makes us individuals. We are both the dragon energy. Look, <laughs> you know, yeah, man, just I, by saying you, he's got to know just by saying that this, that a lot of people are gonna look at him sideways. I just love you, man. I just want to call to say I, I love you. Hey, Kanye, you breaking up? I love you. I love. I love you, man. You want to talk about the new music? Yeah, man. But I just want. I just really want to say I love you, man. All right, I love you too. I love you, man. <laughs> and tell them what you think. Another another hypothesis you have about the album name? I think the album is going to be called "I Love You." I think that would be very smart. I think it'll be called either "I Love You" or just "Love." Mm -hmm. I think because after everything is doing promotion, promotion, promoting things in this such manner, it's obvious that. The, the headspace that he's in and also the message he's trying to spread, spread is love but in a way that's very similar to how Mick Jenkins would spread it <laughs> spread love spread love he says I'm not scared anymore I'm not scared of the media I'm not scared of the past and I'm optimistic about the future this tweet is in love not fit if you're not scared then why do you keep justifying everything you're saying with more and more words right he just keeps going about and really hedging really like oh he's sitting on the fence a lot like He's like, oh, it's all subjective. Oh, these are just my ideas. Yeah, that's true. But and then he says, my wife just called me and she wanted me to make this clear to everyone. I don't agree with everything Trump does. I don't agree 100% with anyone but myself. So he's having his wife have to check him and say, hey, Kanye, check those screws, you know, put them back in place. And I'm, I'm like, if you... But he still admits to he, he agrees with some things Trump does. But he, no, no, no. Well, I guess he's... He, but he still admits Trump's his brother. Man. Kanye's been hanging, it seems like he's been hanging around a lot of upper class, middle well, yeah. America. I think because he's pretty serious about being a president, he wants to talk to a lot of politicians and get their sort of, their feel and stuff on how he could be successful and what he would need to focus on. So that I think makes that, strategic sense. So I think that's why he's been talking to Trump or why he's been talking to these other people and why he's got a lot of respect for them and treating them like brothers now because he's, they've probably given him faith and a lot of good tips on how he could actually help change. Okay. So like, that's why a lot of Good tips? I'm assuming so. They got Dragon Force, bro. Oh fuck! Don't forget the Dragon Force. It's <laughs> <laughs> the freestyle. Good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. That's definitely written. He just said that's enough. That's he. That, that's definitely written. I reckon that's from his album. Hundred percent. That's that's fucking cool. That sounds. That's a fucking cool hook. <clears throat> so the the question is, it's obviously a lot of this is strategic because he has an album coming out, he has music coming out. People mm. don't like that. People hate or dis very dislike that he's creating all this controversy just for. They, they feel like it's just for to sell more records, to make more money. That's how it's being perceived by a lot of people, including Ebro. Yeah, it possibly could be. Or maybe it's just because he's been kept silent for so long away from the media that he's finally got there. Kept and he's... silent? Well, yeah, I feel like... Well, no one's stopping him from talking except him. I don't know. Maybe he got Kim to ban him from Twitter. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually he was like, yo, Kim, come on. Let me tweet. No, can he told me not to? Oh, I got your phone, Kim. I'm going to post Hold shit. Up. This is really interesting. John. Yes, hey, the one I told you about. Hey, it's JL. I hope you'll reconsider aligning yourself with Trump. You're way too powerful and influential to endorse who he is and what he stands for. As you know, what he say really means something to your fans. They are loyal to you and respect your opinion. So many people love and feel betrayed right now because they know the harm that Trump's policies cause, especially to people of color. They want to be part of your legacy. You're the greatest artist of our generation. I love you, John. I appreciate your thoughts. You bringing up my fans on my legacy is a tactic based on fear used to manipulate my free thought. 
Yeah, not the not the best response to JL. But how the fuck does John Legend respond to that bullshit? He does if you look up. So basically, he says he basically. So then John Legend says, "Oh, because you're going to be talking about." Oh, I, yeah. I respect that he he re, he actually did that because he said, "I tweet, I showed this to show there are people around me that disagree with me." I respect everyone's opinion, but I stand my ground. And that's what John Legend says afterwards. Think freely, think with empathy and context too. Your words and actions have consequences. Much love. And since you're posting text, let me add that I have a new single out. <laughs> Kanye sounds a bit paranoid. Like he doesn't want anybody to ship and manipulate and change his thoughts or be, imp and be influenced by anything someone's saying. That's a huge part about being human though. Like pretty much everything we are and everything we do is about being, you know, hearing things and seeing things and letting us. That's how you end up thinking of yourself by other people's actions. If no one did anything, then how would we think? If no one said anything, how would we... Yeah. Well, you, I think you need to be a, like a bit formal. You need to be, you have, need the ability to shift and change. And and also, yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say, the less you're around people, unless you hear and see things, then you're probably going to have more of a opinion that's probably not right or not, you know, very similar to other people. Which isn't wrong. It's just, you know, it can get you in trouble if you can't yeah, or if you're famous. <laughs> Look, <laughs> we're going to wrap this shit up. Here's the thing. Well, it was just funny. All right. One, Kanye segregating his audience once again. This is something he's done many times before. This is not new. Mm -hmm. But you gotta admit that out of all this, that's why a lot of people are acting a bit outrageous, but I'm not that surprised. Like, Kanye always does this sort of stuff. Two. But he hasn't done like this How before. quickly will we forget about this? When the music drops and we get some dope shit, are we, how quickly will we forget? Mm, it's different this time. So I, don't, I think a lot of people won't forget if he doesn't. If I don't he, know. If he still keeps his ties with Donald Trump, that's still a big fuck you to a lot of black people out there. It is, especially when you don't provide context and you provide very vague dragon energy. I love yous. We all have the right to exactly. think freely without actually addressing the issues that people like, disagree on. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of black artists who Kanye's worked with and never called his brother. And him calling Donald your brother would probably be a giant just fuck you to them. That's true. That's, that's just how I take it. I honestly think that out of all the things he's done, this is probably going to be one of the craziest. But I'm Most controversial would be a more accurate word. Yeah, more, more, most controversial. But I'm not surprised. I, by this, by the time after the Life of Pablo release, anything Kanye does wouldn't surprise me. If I found out that he was gay and he'd he'd expanded his anus to fit a pineapple up there, I wouldn't be surprised. On that note, let us know what you guys think of this... Um, <laughs> what an ending. <laughs> <laughs> of this... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is, man. Has he lost his? Has he lost the screws, or are the screws intact and we've lost the screws and we just can't see what he sees yet until the music drops? Mm. And um, if you if you do feel really strongly against this, will you still listen to his music? Because I've stopped listening to XX Tentacion because of the allegations that he has for violent measures. So for those who have, you know, different measures and things about this, what's happening, or same with Nas, will you listen to Nas and rather knowing if this comes through that he that he had a bad relationship? Yeah, that's all I got to touch on. This is hip hop's crazy right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>